Hello everyone, this is Miss Hickman, and today I'm going to read you a book that we are going to be basing our art project on. I would have loved to have read it to you in person, but since you're at home, I want to make sure that you're still able to hear the story. So today we are going to be reading Planet Kindergarten. This is about a little boy in the future who has to go to school on a distant planet and he has to take a rocket ship every day to school. So he's a little nervous about starting kindergarten. So here we go. 6.30 a.m. The alarm rings. The countdown started. Here he is marking his calendar, counting the days until he has to go to school. Doing my sit-ups, reviewing my letters. Dad and I checked the plans for my next big mission. My doctor gave me two thumbs up. Mom and I got lots of supplies. You see his pencils here. Today is liftoff. I suit up. Dad helps me with my gear. What if I'm not ready? What if we crash into a comet or get sucked into a black hole? Or even worse, my lunch floats away. You are well prepared, says Dad. Into the rocket ship, the boosters fire. Blast off. I am ready to explore Planet Kindergarten. We arrive at the base camp, then orbit while we look for a place to dock. Mom slips her photo into my pocket and squeezes my hand. I don't want her to worry, so I stand tall. Parents are sent back to their own planets. We're aliens from many galaxies on planet kindergarten. Here is all of his classmates. His teacher sits at the desk and look at all the apples that she has. Our commander tells us our flight plan for the day. Mission control calls in on the intercom. They welcome us on our journey. I try to get used to the new atmosphere, but it's not like home. For one thing, gravity works differently here. We have to try hard to stay in our seats and our hands go up a lot. At recess, we test the conditions outside the capsule. <clears throat> A crewmate and I disagree over the equipment. We have to sit in isolation, and I learn that isolation isn't any fun. My crewmate agrees, and I have a new friend. Back in the capsule, we run some experiments, write in our logs, and then capture images for our families. I wish they were here. Do you see all the different art supplies they are using? I see scissors and glue and crayons and tape. At lunch, I find out that I love space food. My lunch doesn't float away, but our trash will, so we contain it. The commander says that space exploration makes you tired and we have to rest. I'm too excited to sleep, so I count stars. In the quiet and the dark, I get really homesick. Is the room running out of oxygen? Abort mission, I think. You can't do this. Get out of here. I spot the escape hatch. Then I remember what they say at NASA. Failure is not an option. 
If failure isn't an option, that leaves only success. Rest time is over. I take a deep breath and get back to work. Before I know it, my mission is accomplished. Look who's here to pick them up. Mom and Dad. My parents rush to greet me. Then it's splashdown. I am back on my home planet and getting clean for the next day. Mom and Dad are proud. Me too, because they were brave to let me go. I love it here, but I'm already training to go back to Planet Kindergarten tomorrow. The end. So I will see everyone tomorrow. Have a great day.